What's going on Salt Strong Nation? I've got a quick tip for you guys on two things that you can use to help you catch more fish on the flats on those really windy days that we get in the spring and even going into early summer where the water's really dirty, really choppy. And even if you can see the fish, it can be tough to get their attention and get them to strike. So you really just need to use these two things and you're gonna find yourself catching a lot more fish. And I'm gonna even show you guys these two things in action later on in the video and show you how effective they can be when you put them in place. Now the first thing that's really helpful to use on these really windy choppy days is a larger presentation and again we are trying to mimic smaller bait most times in the spring those three three and a half inch paddle tails are great or smaller shrimp presentations because that's what most fish are dialed in on the spring those clear and calm days those presentations work great but if it gets really windy really nasty a lot of times the predators not only won't notice those presentations but it can be hard as an angler to even just get them out there 10 15 feet away from you because the winds can really just knock that cast right back in your face so a lot of times what I'll use is a larger presentation such as a larger shrimp lure or a larger paddle tail. I prefer on really windy days to fish the Slam Shady Bomber. It's a five inch paddle tail. It's got a lot of weight to it and it's got a really heavy vibration as it kicks through the water. And that's another thing. I really like to use paddle tails on these really windy nasty days because they just send off a, a huge signal to any fish nearby that there's something moving through the water. So I personally would recommend a large paddle tail, preferably a five inch paddle tail. If you're going going to be fishing on these really nasty days, it'll allow you to get that lure out there and allow those fish to take notice of something that's dispersing a lot of water, being that it's a larger presentation versus that kind of three, three and a half inch bait fish that we're usually kind of trying to mimic with some of the smaller paddle tails. But that five inch paddle tail does a much better job of just sending off more signals to predators nearby, both through bigger vibration and just the fact that it is a larger profile dispersing more water. Now, secondly, another big thing is this water is very dirty, it is all murked up, and something that can be extremely helpful is a little bit of scent. Now I like to use the Dr. Juice Saltwater Slam scent. That's gonna help those fish if they're nearby to pick up on the trail of something that's moving through the water, or if they're behind something they can't quite see it in that murk. That scent's gonna help them really lock in on what they perceive to be a prey item. So I definitely like to put scent on all of my lures when I'm using them during really windy days. I like to put scent on all the time, but I absolutely douse my lures when it comes to the really windy days of fishing. As you guys will see in the video shortly, I put a bunch of Dr. Juice on these paddle tails when I went out with Insider West Hall recently. And we got onto quite a few fish using that paddle tail and scent combo, as you guys will see here in a second. There we go. Right up over there. and uh, they're real fired up. Cool, yeah, real fired up, ready to get a meal. Tell you what, we'll, we'll divide and conquer. If you get onto them over there, because I see a little bar that looks like it's got, oh no, those are reds. <gasps> look at that, look at those tails. There's a bunch of them. Oh yeah, look at them working. Look at all those tails. Got one. It's a big fish. It's a big fish. There's more in there too. That was immediate. Maybe not as big as I thought, but still good fish here. Oh dude, there's there's a bunch of them over here. They're they're swimming with this group of other with this guy. About as immediate as you could ask for as soon as that bomber landed in front of that school of reds he was all over it i'm gonna get this guy back and see if i can find another one there we 
go. Another rud there on the bomber. Very nice. Get this guy back. There's a bunch more up against the shoreline. There we go. <laughs> Still got a lot of energy in him. Oh my goodness. Chill out, buddy. And if you guys want to pick up some of these paddle tails or that Dr. Juice scent that you saw us using, we do have it in the Salt Strong shop at 20% off for Salt Strong Insiders. But I hope you guys enjoyed this tip. And if you have any other questions, leave them in the comment section below and I can get back to you there. But I'll see you guys on the next video. And thanks again for watching. And if you're new to Salt Strong, just know we're the number one online fishing club out there because we actually guarantee we're gonna help you catch more fish, save money on tackle, and make friends fast, or it's free. So thanks again so much for watching and we're hoping to see you in the Insider Club soon.